Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Edification 360 and so today we are starting with the third term work particularly for social sciences, geography, grade 7 and for this first video we are dealing with population concepts. As I have previously said, we this is term three, and our topic is population growth and change. That is the big topic for the term. And under this topic, we have three subtopics that we need to cover. And so for the first video, we'll be looking into population concepts. The second video, factors that are affecting birth and death rates. And in the last video, we'll be looking at world population growth. population concept and so for this video we are going to be looking into the following one population two birth rate three death rate four population growth rates five infant mortality rates six and last we'll be looking into life expectancy All right, so before we start with the concepts, it's very important for us to understand what is population. And so when we speak of population, we are speaking about the number of people who live in a particular area. And remember, this area, it's not restricted. It could just be a town, a city. For example, if we are looking into Johannesburg as a town or city, or we could be looking into a population of a country, South Africa, population of the continent, Africa, or just the population of the world. And so, as I have said, when we talk about population, we are speaking about the number of people who live in a certain area. Okay. And so there is a number of factors that influences this number of people who live in a particular area. And this will be discussed in the following slide. All right, so population, the number of people who live in a certain area, the population increases and it also decreases. Increasing meaning that the, the population becomes bigger, decreasing it means that the population becomes less. And so what causes the population to increase? Firstly, it's birth, so the number of children who are born. Secondly, we look into immigration and when we speak of immigration, we're speaking about coming to a country to live there permanently. So when we speak about immigration, we're speaking of all the immigrants who then come to live in a particular country permanently. Then the third thing that causes population to increase is natural resources. And so if a country has natural resources, it has mines, um, that calls for opportunities. And so people would come into another country, meaning that they would come and increase the population due to natural resources that are available in that particular country or particular space. The fourth factor that could cause the population to increase is technology. Technology meaning that the particular area is more advanced. And so if it's more advanced, people would definitely want to come live in that area because then that creates opportunities for them and better living spaces. Then the fifth factor that could cause the population to increase are job opportunities. And so if a particular country has many job opportunities, they would find their country having more population. So for example, in the teaching industry, there are a number of jobs um, for teaching in China. And so 
China could find itself could find its population increasing due to the number of people who are coming there for job opportunities, particularly teaching in China. And so the factors that cause this population to decrease, meaning for the population to be less, firstly would be death, meaning that the people who are dying. And the second factor is emigration. And when we speak about emigration, we're speaking about people who live their country and they go to live in a foreign country. And they go stay there permanently. Meaning that um, when they leave that particular country, that then decreases the population of the country they live in. And they would then go into the new country and they would go increase that country's uh, population. The fourth factor is conflicts and war. And so depending on the scale of the war, there would be quite a number of people then pass away and so that could cause the population to decrease and then the last point is healthcare. if the healthcare of a particular area or country is appalling that would definitely um, decrease the population of the country because meaning that when people get sick there is not enough medication there are not enough doctors to attend to them and so that would definitely decrease the population of that particular country Birth rate. Birth rate is the number of live births for every 1,000 people in a country during one year. And so this would vary from one country to another. And there's also quite a number of factors that influences this birth rate. And this will be explored more in the second video. Death rate. Death rate is the number of people who die in a country in one year. We measure the death rates as a number of deaths per 1,000 people. And so this death rate would also vary from one country to another. And there's also quite a number of factors that influences this death rate. And this will be explored more in the second video. So again, the death rate is the number of deaths per 1,000 people per year in a particular country. Population growth rate. When we speak about the population growth rates, we are speaking about the increase in the number of people in a country in one year. And so there is a particular formula that we use to calculate this population growth rate. And population growth rate is equals to birth rate minus death rate. And so that is how we calculate our population rate. Let's say, for example, for a particular country, their birth rate is 19, their third rate is 15. And so how would we calculate the population growth rate? We would say population growth rate is equal to birth rate minus death rate, meaning that 19 minus 15, which will then give us 4. So it means for this particular country that their population growth rate is equal to 4. Infant mortality rate. When you speak about the infant mortality rate, we are talking about the number of babies who die in a country before they are one year old. The word infant means a baby or a child under the age of one. Hence, this is called the infant mortality rate. We measure the infant mortality rate as the number of death per 1,000 life births. In some countries, infant mortality makes up a big part of the death rate. In other words, many of the yearly deaths are due to babies. And so this will be explored further on what causes the infant mortality rate of a particular country to be high and what causes it to be low. Life expectancy. When we speak of life expectancy, we are speaking about the age to which people can expect to live. Life expectancy is an average figure for a country. It is based on the ages of all the people who have died in a given period. And so next up, we have an activity. This activity is just for you to test yourself if you have really understood what was tackled in this video and so the first question what is population and it's for two marks the second question list factors that increase the population and this is for three marks the third question list the factors that decrease the population and this is for three marks 
The fourth question, provide definitions for the following, and this is for six marks, as there are six definitions which you need to write. A, birth rate. B, death rate. C, population growth rate. D, infant. E, infant mortality rate. F, life expectancy. Next up, we have activity two, and this activity has quite a lot of calculations. It's just to really see whether you understood how we calculate population growth rate. Just before we get started, remember, we said the formula for calculating population growth rates is equals to birth rates minus death rates. And so number one, calculate the population growth rates for the following countries. We have country A, B, C, D, E. Each of those countries has a birth rate and it has a death rate, okay? And so what you need to do, you need to do your calculations so that you are able to come up with the population growth rate. And so you'll do that for country A all the way until country E. And so the second question, what could be the possible cause of countries having a negative population growth rate? And the
Thank you so much for joining us today as we're discussing population concepts. And really, if you have any questions or would like to engage with us, we are available on various platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Gmail, and WhatsApp. There is a WhatsApp group. We have lessons on a daily basis. And so if you would really like to join that, you are more than welcome to do that. You can just send a message to the number 